Well, we've got another question, and and uh, as I read this question over, I realized you've kind of answered the first half of this question, um, but I think that the second part of this this question I think could be very interesting. This one reads. As a single woman in her early 70s, I found the title of your book very interesting. In my youth, being referred to as a spinster was considered an insult. How did you come up with the title, uh, An Unapologetic Spinster, and, and what did it mean to you? And secondly, again, as a single woman in her early 70s, what are some suggestions that you would have for someone like myself that would still like to meet a man and have him in my life. And this is from Madeline in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. Well, thank you, Madeline, for the question. So hopefully I answered spinster is not meant to be an insult, but it is meant to poke at society, right? It's to say okay. this word, this concept is not okay. And we need to change how we think about women um, versus how we think of a bachelor, right? As a, as a, Mm -hmm. for most cases, a positive undertone. Um, so I would, I mean, my number one thing would say, it doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter what you're, you know, where you are in your life and what you've done in your life to date. It is never too late for love. That is my absolute number one um, thing. So I think having the mentality that you are, you know, you're on the cusp of meeting somebody that is, I think, a very healthy, regardless of anybody's age, just feeling like it is imminent and um, believing that you deserve it and it's possible. Um, that's the number one thing. So number two would be similar to the advice given before get out there and, you know, what are you, what interests you? What is, where is your community? Where can you go meet other people? Um, you know, do you like to go for walks, you know, during the afternoon when it's not too hot out there, not in the summer maybe, but like, what are you, what are you doing and where are you where you can meet other people and mm -hmm. um, have fun? Yep. And if I can add something uh, for Madeline, um, my, my stepmother, uh, who is a wonderful person, and um, in fact, she's, you know, she's one of those people that I consider an angel uh, in, in everything that she does. And she joined a group of women called the Red Hat Society. And they travel all over the world uh, as, as a group. But what I, and, and it got to the point to where I would see them, I would see groups of them. So I, I learned that there's there's smaller groups of them, and then they have a national thing, and they all get together. But in some of the smaller groups, and and I went to a um, a, a, a dinner dinner club, I guess you would call it. So there was entertainment, but it was also dinner and drinks and stuff. And there was a group of women, and they were the most fun. And, and most of them were all about twenty years older than me at the time, but um, I ended up dancing with a bunch of them because, you know, as I, you know, they, they were going over and they were grabbing men that were at tables that were about their age and trying to pull them up to dance. And some of them, these guys were just sitting there going, no, 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 I don't dance and stuff. So I saw that and I went, no, no, I'll go. And then, but before I knew it, that I was having a ball, they were having a ball, but then some of these men you know, we're looking at me and they're, well, hey, maybe we should get up there. We don't want this young guy to be dancing with all these women. But what I'm saying is, is that there are groups that you can join that will sort of help bring that out. And I mm -hmm. think that, you know, in this day and age, if you can get out, um, you know, and and just spend some time with people um, that you're going to find somebody. Yes. I, that is fantastic. What a, and what a great example of positivity rubbing off on other people, right? Because the people, the the older men who didn't want to get up and dance at first in, in that story, they probably maybe were a little self-conscious or yeah. for whatever reason, they just, you know, and then they see you out there having a blast and they're like, I can have a blast too. And they get up and they do it. And I, yeah. I think, I think that, that is what, dating is all about and, you know, being yourself and having fun is putting yourself out there, being a little bit vulnerable, but also just really enjoying the moment and the people that you're with. I couldn't agree more. If you like this clip and you want to watch another, click here. If you want to watch the whole episode, click here.